so you should have read on significant figures and how significant figures are a way of us presenting the accuracy and precision in our measurements um, from um, the instruments that we use. So let us um, do some examples to apply the, the rules that we've learned for counting significant figures by doing um, these problems. So how many sig figs are in each number? For A, we look um, at 0 0.0035, and we know that non-zero numbers um, are always significant. So these are significant, but these zeros here, they are leading zeros. They come to the left of the first non-zero number here, so they are not significant. So we have two sig figs in this case. And remember, if we wanted to write this in scientific notation, we would write this as 3.5 times 10 to the negative third. So notice that these zeros here, they were being used as placeholders, nothing more. So they are not significant. Um, for B, we have two numbers that are non-zero numbers, so they're significant. This zero here is an interior zero, so it is significant. And this zero here is a trailing zero. It comes to the right of a non-zero number after a decimal point as well. So it is significant as well. So that's four sig figs. Uh, for C, we have four non-zero numbers, so that should be really easy. So it's four sig figs. For D, we only look at the decimal part. We do not look at the exponential part to figure out the number of significant figures. So here we have three non-zero numbers, so it's three sig figs. Um, e, we have a conversion factor. One dozen is equal to 12. And remember that in this case, one dozen of anything is always 12. It's not 11.9. It's not 12.2. It's always 12. So it is an exact number. And exact numbers have unlimited number of significant figures. because they do not have any inaccuracies. They are accurate numbers, and they are pretty exact. So F um, would have trailing zeros that come to the right of a non-zero number, so they're significant. And these zeros that come after a decimal point here are also significant. So we have five sig figs. For G, yes, these zeros here, they come to the right of a non-zero number, but there is no decimal point. So these are uh, ambiguous. Okay, now um, I want you to go ahead and pause this for a second and go ahead and try these on your own. Then go ahead and uh, replay this to see if you got the same answers that I did. So let's see, for A, we have, this should be easy, four non-zero numbers, so we have four sig figs. Uh, for B, we have the leading zeros that we talked about, and the leading zeros are zeros that are th to the left of the first non-zero number, so they are not significant. Then we have two non-zero numbers, and then we have a trailing zero. 
a zero that comes to the right of a real number, a non-zero number, after a decimal point as well. So in this case, we will have three sig figs. Here we have two non-zero numbers, and we only count the decimal part. We do not count the exponential part, so we have two sig figs. Here we have a conversion factor of 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.01 meters. And this is exact. Um, when we learn about the metric system, we will learn that 1 centimeter means exactly 1 one hundredth of a meter. So exact numbers have unlimited significant figures, right? There is no uncertainty. Um, for E, we have one non-zero number, and we have trailing zeros that are to the right of our first non-zero number and to the right of a decimal point. So that is three sig figs. Um, here in F, we have two non-zero numbers but we don't have a decimal point, so we don't know whether these two are significant or not. So it is ambiguous. We can write it as 2.1 times 10 to the third, or we can write it as 2.100 times 10 to the third. So it could either have two sig figs, or it could have four in this case. So that is why we write ambiguous. Sometimes you'll see it written as 2100 with a dot here to indicate that it's four significant figures. All right, um, just make sure that you have um, the correct answers that I got and uh, do some more example problems if you need to.